Looks like I'm black. I'm just going to play my normal opening. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see a different opening. I could do like 4-4, four, four, Sanrense, Chinese. Anything you want to see. Uh, this move I really don't like is white. But it's not really bad. Just normally if they extend here, you can press it down and build the bottom side. Uh, but he didn't take his base. So I'm going to uh, prevent him from making one. So he made a base on this side. So I could invade here to reduce this side. I could also approach here and here. I have some stones over here that might be able to get some influence. So I think I'll try approaching the bottom side and build this side. He plays this one. This one's a little too solid. Um, so just playing here or the kick would be better. Uh, but I'll just make a base here. Okay, he's very defensive. Um, he played this one. So the weakness of this is I can still play here. Interesting. So, yeah, this is very solid, but it's he's spending all these moves here to make a few points. While I have the rest of the board. And this doesn't have a base yet. So I could surround it and force him to live. Or I could play something like this. And then as he runs out, I make a base. And this is not alive yet. Um, but I think I like the idea of surrounding. Because I had the original goal of trying to uh, develop this side. And as he tries to live, it should help make me uh, stronger. This one doesn't really work, because if I go here, and he Atari's here, I connect. He can capture the one stone, but I Atari and capture the corner. And if he just does this one, then he kind of just wasted this stone. Okay, so I do have a cutting point here. But when I turn here to capture, it should be okay. And if he extends, I just make a base. And then I can still push through here and do some stuff to his corner. He protects this side. Okay. So this is more important. Uh, this stone's more important. Um, this stone was not important at all because it has no effect on this group. Um, but this group is my weakest one, so I'm just going to make a base. Allowing him to get this Atari is quite big. So I'm going to extend. And if he keeps pushing, I'm just going to Hane and try to build this area. Okay, so he tries to jump in. So my main goal should be to keep this one and this one separated. And stopping him from making a base. But because he played this move, he doesn't really have a good follow-up for a base. So I'm just going to take my corner, and now he has to try and figure out a way to uh, either run this out or make a base. This group is very strong, so I'm not too worried about it. So I think I will just Hane here, and when he extends, I can play here, which is connected to this, and it's taking his base away. I'm just going to connect here, play solid. And pretty much after this, I already have two eyes here. Because if I capture here, I have an eye here. And if he goes here, this is four spaces. And he can't get rid of uh, both eyes. And I'm just going to run out here. Because this is separating these stones. And it's still putting pressure on this group. Okay. And just keep running out. So this group still has some weaknesses, so going to defend it. Yep, and he still has to run away. So now, if I keep running this way, I'm not really sure how I'm profiting. So he also can maybe build some points over here. And if he turns this way, I'm running this way into his other weak group. So I think I'm going to try and run out this way, which is reducing his center, making this group a little bit stronger, and is uh, forcing me to run this way to his already regroup. group. 
And he does this one, so he's still trying to protect this one. So he's played like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven moves here. And he's only really making like... Like maybe 40 points there. But at the same time, this group's weak, this group's weak. And my area is at least similar to his area, but has more potential to build even more. And then I have whatever I made here and here. So he can't really connect to this group in one move. So I think I'm just going to press down. This is also the weakness of having so many stones on the third line, is it's very easy to just press it down so he tries to take the corner, so if I fight back, it could get a little bit complicated. Um, and my goal is just to get the outside here, so I'm just going to give him the corner. And then connect to my stones. He comes back here to try and live. I'm going to extend up once because this is getting rid of his eye shape here. Also gives me a few points, so this still doesn't have two eyes. So I don't think he can really do anything to cut this off with this move. So I think I'm going to just Tanuki. And, hmm. So I could play here, but then he takes the corner. Um, hmm. I think I'll run this way. So now that I have stones up here, I'm starting to build something in this area. But I also don't want to make the connection too easy. So I'm going to push once here. Okay, he didn't extend. So he's aiming for this cut. But I just block here. And even if he cuts this off, this group's already alive. So I'm not too worried about that. So I think I'm just going to jump here to make this more solid. And now this is getting very easy to make points here. So even if he does connect his stones up now, I got my uh, profit here. And now if I get to play a move around here, that'd be very nice. Though I do have to make sure this group is alive. But it doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to live. I think I'll just go here, expanding my eye shape. This is also threatening to like poke through an Atari and Atari, getting rid of his eye shape to where if I tried to uh, surround him, he could get into trouble. Okay, so he goes here. So again, I can just connect, but hmm. I suppose that works too. I'll just connect. Okay. So now this is not quite alive. If I play here, I'm still making points here. He comes back, I guess, trying to live here. I'm just going to turn here, make my corner bigger and also threatening his eye shape. So you can see white is just kind of too busy this entire game because he's creating uh, too many weak groups. And like this is still not alive. This one's still not alive. Like if playing here is Sensei. This group's not alive if I try to surround or I push through here. Uh here I can push through here and uh play here. And this is still not alive. And I think that's what I'm gonna do now is protect these two stones because it's making my corner bigger. So here he's trying to cut me off. 
but because these stones are all connected to this wall, and this one can connect to this, which is already alive, I'm not too worried about that. So I think I'm going to push here and kind of uh, put some pressure on it. Not trying to kill, but putting pressure on it to where he has to spin moves trying to live, to where maybe I can make this more solid. Okay, so this move, I'm not really sure what this one's doing. I guess he's saying he can connect to this group or this one. But this one's not alive yet, so if I just separate this, even if he connects to this group, this group gets into trouble. So, yep, just going to keep them separated. So he comes back trying to live, I guess. So I guess he could play here. And if I block here, he makes an eye. So I need to uh, prevent that. So again, he still only has the, the one eye here. And I'm just going to push through because he has lots of cutting points. Stay connected. And keep pushing through. So here he doesn't really have any real potential to make eyes here. And I can just turn here, which is cutting these groups off. So when you're attacking, the main goal is to keep groups separated. And if you have a chance to split a part of it off, then you want to do that. But this also is part of keeping your group strong as well. It's where you don't have to worry if they do get cut off. So like here, if he goes here, I can ladder it. Um, if he pushes here, I Atari, he connects, and then I just play here and I'm alive. If he plays over here, then I can cut connecting to these. Uh, this group is all connected to these. Um, this one just doesn't work. I go here. He can't cut, and this is very strong. And this is also kind of bad for this group, because now I can go here. If he Atari's, Atari, connect, connect, and this group is not alive. Um, but it seems he's trying to uh, jump into this area, which I think I'll try and stop for now. Because, um, yeah, I just Atari. This is bad. Um, even if he can connect these stones, um, just capturing this keeps everything connected. And now his corner is in a lot of danger. And I think this works for me. One. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then it keeps going. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he took the time to read this ladder. I think if he did, I feel like he should have been able to read it, probably. So now this is not alive, this is not alive. He goes here, so of course I just block. He connects, I capture, this is alive. This is probably dead. Um, he goes here, so I want to block. So I can still push through here to capture or here. And I don't want to give him the option of pushing into this area. He connects, but again, not enough liberties. I just push through, he tries to connect, I just block. And here, lots of liberties, so I just capture. Okay, and he resigns. So here, I think, is a pretty good example of why you don't want to make too many weak groups, because you just end up having to save them, 
and keep saving them and you're not making points while your opponent is making a lot of profit. So yeah, I think uh like even this group I can still push through here, get rid of getting rid of the eyes here. Um and then he played all of these slow moves in this one area that didn't really get him enough. But uh yeah, I think this was a good game to learn from. And uh see you next time.